hello guys hope all are doing good and busy with your schedule today i came up with a useful topic for the students who are looking for a job opportunity in the vlsi domain okay most of the students degrading themselves because of not selecting in the interviews even sometimes recruiters not picking the resumes right so today we'll put a pull list of for that first of all we'll see what is the main reason for not selecting the resume okay maybe because of lack of skills in the resume or you are not exploring your skills in the resume right so today we'll see how to prepare your resume how to explore the skills and how to upgrade your skills okay so this video will help mainly for freshers don't skip the video watch till the end we'll see the key points to highlight your resume first of all as a vlsi engineer you need to know about vlsi design flow okay what are the different steps involved in each stage like a design verification means doing the uh, generating the net list and doing ip level verification or soc level verification using svn ubm right in physical design various stages involved like uh, like for planning or partitioning placement you also need to know about timing analysis power analysis okay what is meant by formal verification validation testing emulation these are various stages involved in the design flow okay and second thing what are what you need to highlight in your resume okay suppose if you are learning digital electronics okay you need to highlight as a circuit design you, are, you have hands on experience in the circuit designing like modeling complex lo sequential logic circuits modeling finite state missions for various problem statements suppose a traffic light controller or a elevator or a atm machine okay and second thing you need to highlight you have the skill on static timing analysis okay uh, you need to learn about static timing analysis how to prepare interview questions and all. next you are expertise in cmos circuit design like how to generate a cmos circuit for a given digital logic design for a given digital logic gate okay and second thing memory modeling okay how to model a different type of memories okay dual ram memory or dual port memory ram rom or how to, how to construct a 256 by 24 ram using 256 by 8 ram modules okay few four designs okay li four design there are different type of memory model okay you can highlight that thing in your resume okay and micro architecture design how can you design a architecture using the control signals bus signals data signals you need to learn that thing okay and you need to explore that thing in your resume if you are doing any projects using micro architecture you need to highlight that thing okay and coming to the very log it is a major thing for design engineers right like rtl coding using synthesizable construct you already know how to design a circuit how to design how to generate a net list okay that thing you need to mention in the resume okay and hands on experience of designing finite state mission we can design a finite state mission in different ways okay you can highlight that thing that you have the hands on experience in the test benches in designing the architecture okay how to design for a control signals how to design for bus data signals okay those things you need to highlight in your resume okay that is a part of very log and coming to the system verilog you have did the constraint based verification how you use the constraint in your projects okay how you use the code coverage functional coverage how you did the functional coverage for a scenario okay you need to highlight the thing you need to explore what you did on verification okay suppose if you done some assertion based verification okay and you have developed the test plan for any protocol for any projects how you develop the test plan what are various scenarios you have taken for test cases okay everything you need to highlight in your resume simply not para and paras just a small line bullet points you need to put and you need to so that will be easily goes to the recruiters okay 
and coming to the UVM, you have a hands-on experience in developing the scoreboard logic for SV or UVM. Okay, you have the knowledge on test bench components, how each will be interconnected like in UVM sequencer, sequence items, okay, faces. You need to explore these things, okay? And how you have the practical exposure on test plan development in UVM, how you will develop for various scenarios, okay? Uh, that you need to mention, I have developed these scenarios, the test plan for various uh, uh, protocols, for various projects, okay? You can, uh, you can put like that. And what about the projects and protocols? These, these play a very major role, right? Like protocol, you can start with a basic protocol like YOT or I2C or SPI, whatever you have learned, okay? Whatever you did in the YOT, you can put your role, you can mention there, okay? You, suppose if you do a verification in YOT, you can mention for APB, AHB, AXI. Suppose if you did only a small piece in AHP or AXI, what is the your role? How you generated a code coverage? How you generated assertion based? Or have you done any constraint based verification in UVM? Okay, how you did? You need to highlight your blade points. Okay, and what feature you have checked and what feature you have taken. Okay, these things you need to mention. Okay, and you can, uh, whatever the projects you have did, you need to mention your description, you need to mention your role, okay, what highlights you did, okay, the bullet points you can put, okay, not only these projects, or uh, whatever um, the uh, methodologies or uh, programming skills, you can put the bullet points, these are the main key points you need to put, okay, if you have worked on FPGS, what FPGA you have worked? Okay, and design, ASIC design. You already know what is mean by ASIC design, the permanent chip, whatever we are doing, uh, uh, the SOCs and all, the ASIC design, you, you can put like that, okay? And if you work any other technologies like a nanometer technology, like a CMOS, FinFET, GAFET technologies, you can highlight those things. And what is mean by quantum technology? If you have worked on quantum technology and how uh, the bits are storing in the quantum, Okay, what is the entanglement? What is the principles? Okay, you can highlight all the things. Okay, then your resume will get a good weightage. The resume will be picked easily by any company, not only service-based companies, but product companies also. Okay, so just follow these tips. Just follow these tricks. Okay, if you want any interview questions for protocols and all, just comment below. I will provide you the protocol interview questions and for uh, methodologies and all. Okay, thank you.